Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Emil Ennis Jr., back here with Clever News. And Kanye West just called out Jennifer Aniston on Twitter after she told her followers not to vote for him. Amid one of the most important elections in our country's history, Kanye West is still campaigning and asking fans to write in his name on their ballots. Many fans and celebs have called out Kanye, saying his decision to run during this election is irresponsible and are begging people not to vote for him. And the latest to speak out against Kanye is actress Jennifer Aniston. Jen took to Instagram earlier this week to encourage her over 35 million followers to vote, along with some photos of her dropping off her ballot in West Hollywood. Jennifer wrote, I voted for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. I dropped my ballot off and I did it early. I voted for them because right now this country is more divided than ever. Right now, a few men in power are deciding what women can and can't do with their own bodies. Our current president has decided that racism is a non-issue. He has repeatedly and publicly ignored science. Too many people have died. Jen also added that this whole thing isn't about one candidate or one single issue. It's about the future of this country and of the world. Vote for equal human rights, for love, and for decency. And she concluded her post by writing, P.S. It's not funny to vote for Kanye. I don't know how else to say it. Please be responsible. Many celebs were quick to rally around Jennifer's post. Julia Roberts commented writing, beautifully and perfectly expressed. Reese Witherspoon also chimed in saying, yes to this. Ashley Benson wrote, yes, Jen. And Lena Waithe and Naomi Campbell both shared some supportive emojis, but one particular celeb was not a fan of Jen's post. Any guesses? If you guessed Kanye, well, ding, 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 you are correct. And Kanye did what Kanye does. He took to Twitter to air his grievances. Kanye shared this Vanity Fair headline that says, Jennifer Aniston endorses Joe Biden, tells fans it's not funny to vote for Kanye. And along with the screenshot, Kanye wrote, Wow, that Rogan interview got him shook. Let's go. The interview Kanye is referring to is his three-hour interview with Joe Rogan that dropped over the weekend. During Kanye and Joe's conversation, Kanye explains why he wanted to run for president, along with other topics like his bipolar disorder, his pro-life views, and how he plans to run again in 2024, even if he doesn't win this year. I believe that my calling is to be the leader of the free world. Not, not I mean, if, if it's in God's plan that part of my path is to be the governor, then that's fine. But my calling is to be the leader of the free world. Fans have actually had a lot to say about this podcast episode. This person wrote, I enjoy the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, but it just amazes me he'd give his massive platform to Kanye at this point in the election. It's borderline irresponsible. Another fan said, it was pretty irresponsible to air the Kanye West interview just before the election. Do you really need another egotistical, self-obsessed idiot with a God complex as president? And you probably shouldn't advise a severely manic person not to take medication. And this person added, Joe, I'm a big fan of your show. I'm deeply disappointed you would give Kanye airtime before the election. Why now? You could not wait until after the election? This plays into the hands of those who accuse you of being alt-right. I know that's not true, but this sucks. And I feel like this is as good a time as any to remind you all to vote and vote early if you can. Many states have their polling places opened already, so you can avoid waiting in long lines on election day next week. There are also plenty of drop-off locations for casting your ballots. We will include links down in the description in case you're looking for resources. But to find out which Kardashian sister got dragged for promoting Vote Kanye merch, click right over here for another clever video. Video, and then let us know if you've already voted or what your plans are to vote down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emil Innis Jr. You can find me on Instagram at Emil Innis Jr. And I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, guys.